What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, DR2727. Shop out my Transformers fans, my men's co-fans, hot toys collectors, whatever you collect, shout out to you. And I had a different video for this month, for July 2019. It was actually about the crowdfunding conundrum. And I was going to specifically talk about Mate Toys and kind of the crowdfunding um, experience I had. But Hasbro basically took that and threw it in the dumpster. So I'm going to do another video about crowdfunding and my thoughts on crowdfunding and, you know, wh where the community is within crowdfunding. So I wanted to pivot and do an audible real quick and do a quick video on fans toys. And there's been a lot of talk about coloring and what they're doing with coloring. And I want to just give my thoughts real quick. So first, let's talk about the Cyclonus and the Cyclonus T, the tune versus the toy, whatever. This toy is arguably perfect from a presentation standpoint the look and feel of this toy is gorgeous and i am on the outside i'm one of the people who i think if they would have did it did the toy for the tune color first the darker purple first and then announced this color i would have been pissed because this color is so brilliant to me so i i guess i don't have a problem with them doing the two types of colors I am like everybody else. Just let us know beforehand that you plan on doing two types of colors so we can make our choice beforehand as opposed to saying, hey, you drop a color then like, uh, for whatever reason, you drop another color. You did that with Skyfire. You're doing that with this. I hope it's not a habit. I hope they just, I hope it's just a one-off thing because the reason I say that is because they're doing that with Cyclonus. People are thinking they're going to do that with the combiners. I think they're completely crazy. I, there's no way they do this with the combiners. I think whatever color they're rolling with for the combiners, that's what they're staying with because I just got this guy in yesterday and people were like, oh, the colors are off and they may be a little off. I like the color. It's painted everywhere. I cannot see them doing ten, five bots in two different colors or 10 bots if you talk about the Minnesota 2. I think that whatever color scheme they're going with for this, they're going to go with and they are not going to do two different... They may do two different versions of, of like, single characters. So, they may do it with the Brawn, the um, Warpath. Because I did see some with metallic colors and some with just dull colors. Instead of doing the tune and the toy colors, some of them they're doing with the metallic and the non-metallic colors. But the ones who they're talking about, maybe they do a tune color and a toy color or a separate color with that. I don't see that for the combines because you're asking... It's too much that can go wrong from a color mismatch standpoint from the consumer somebody buys four of one kind and now they got to buy the fifth of another kind i just don't see them doing it. i see them with combined stand with the same color family and what you see is what you get i don't think they'll do a secondary hey they're coming in non tune colors or dull colors so i think that for combiners i think that for one-off products that may be for some one-off products that may be you know, I think they're testing the waters now, but for some one-off products, I think that that may be the marketing scheme or their plan. But for the for combiners, I don't think that's the plan. I think that what you see is what you get with that. And while we're talking about fans, toys, and colors, let me just rant real quick. You guys who don't like, or girls who don't like metallic paint, I don't I don't get you guys. You guys are crazy. You, I heard people complain about it with the Warpath, the Braun. Give me metallic paint, everything covered in metallic paint. These guys are supposed to be metal men from another planet. The metallic paint does a couple of things. One, it gives you a premium look and feel. Two, it makes them look more metallic. You would suspect them to be shiny, to be just like you suspect them to be super big. You would suspect them to be shiny. Metal is shiny. These are guys who live me. I know. The counter argument is these are guys who've been in a million years, a million of year war, but I'd rather have them shiny. And if you're going to do door, do like Bad Cube did with their warpath. Make a door version which had paint on it, I mean, which has dirt spattered on it, washes, um, dry brushing and stuff like that. But if you're going to just make a plain Jane bot, make him metallic for me, covered in metallic paint. Fans toys, I applaud you for what you're doing. It's trans spots. I applaud you for what you're doing. I hope all other third-party and official Takara make more bots in metallic paint and cover them in metallic paint. I know the fandom is crying about metallic paint. And for those people crying about metallic paint, we can have different disagreements and different opinions. That's what makes the world great. 
I don't get you guys. Like to me, you guys are crazy for not wanting metallic paint. Give me more metallic paint. Give me all metallic paint. I don't care if it's uniform or not. I like the metallic paint. So give me more. Thank you guys for watching. What's your thoughts on metallic paint and what's your thoughts on fans towards a new strategy? Let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching.